It's not something I learned to take a risk. It's just two options in my life. One is take a risk and the upside is huge. Other option is don't take a risk and regret for the rest of your life or you will think you wish you did something. I'd rather try it out and even if I fail, I'll try again and again and again till I get what I want uh, rather than regretting that, oh shit, I never tried anything. My life is so boring, it's spiceless. Uh, and, and that's not something I, I, as a regret I want to have on my deathbed. And that's why I prefer to take risks. Now, you have to be a little intelligent. You have to take risks under guidance, take, get a mentor. If you take risks just for the heck of taking risks, then you're just endangering yourself and others. So you have to look at the upside. If the upside of taking the risk is higher than the, the, the downside of failing. For example, if you're taking a risk of somebody else's money and you're going for a gamble, uh, <laughs> the upside is you're gonna get beaten up or put behind bars. So, you know, that's a downside rather. So don't do it. You know, don't gamble with other people's money. Don't gamble with uh, something that will put you behind bars. But taking a risk of starting a startup, taking a risk of going on an adventure, on a trip, taking a risk of getting a higher education, uh, even if you might not have all the resources, it's okay to kind of stretch beyond your means because uh, unless you do that, you really don't grow. You are in that comfort zone, in your, you're in your happy mediocrity uh, and that doesn't take you anywhere. So unless you stretch, which hurts a little bit, just like going to the gym, you, 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 you know, pull some muscles and then they grow back much stronger. You look much better in shape. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so take risk, stretch a little bit, not too much that you break, but just a bit that you grow.